like to come out and play? Sorry, Holly. We're busy making a robot. A robot? Hmm, sort of. Oh, I wish I had a proper robot. Or better still, I'd like to make a Ragglebot. Easy peasy. Don't worry, Raggles. I'll make you the best Ragglebot ever. I'll help. I'm good at making things. Come on, Will. Let's get to work. What? How do you robots move? <laughs> I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Big Bear, we can use my old remote control car to help it move. And my old doll can be the Ragglebot's face. This sounds like it'll be fun. Doing? I'm making it look pretty. No, you're not. You're ruining it. With all that fancy stuff stuck on, it won't work. Yes, it will. What do you think, Big Bear? I, uh, I, uh, I don't really know. Um, I think you've both got good ideas. Perfect. Okay, Bluebird, you can take a look now. What do you think? It's so ugly. Oh. Can't you make it prettier? Hmm. I know what you need. I'll be right back. Big Bear? Hi, Will. How's it going? Bluebird says I need to make my Ragglebot prettier, but I don't know how. Can you help me? Oh, um, I, uh, I can't. Why not? If I help you, then it's not fair on Holly. I can't help either of you. Sorry, Will. <sighs> Ta-da! Look at these feathers. Ooh, now your Ragglebot will be as beautiful as me. Oh, uh, well, thanks, Bluebird. Do you think Raggles will like them? Of course. There are lots of other things he likes, too. His hammock, snacks, and of course, Rosie. If you add those to your Ragglebot, then yours will definitely be the best. If you say so, Bluebird. Uh, hmm. Maybe Holly's ideas weren't so silly after all. <sighs> it's not supposed to do that. Will's much better at making things move. Are you sure you can't help, Big Bear? Sorry, Holly. Now then, what seems to be the problem? Oh, my Ragglebot has gone all floppy. Aha! It's just like building a nest. It is? Oh, yes. There's nothing worse than a floppy nest. What you need to do is pick the best twigs to go around the outside. Oh, thanks, Bluebird. Oh, maybe if I just swap these bits over, too. There. Oh, maybe Will's ideas weren't so bad after all. Ahem. <clears throat> Ready, everyone. Three, two, one. <laughs> now! Ta-da! You haven't seen anything yet. Watch this. Oh, no, that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, uh, of course, I, I didn't help with that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Wait till you see my Ragglebot go. Look. Forwards. Go on, off you go. No, you're going the wrong way. Oh, stop. Oops. I'll help. Go on, Ragglebot. Save the day. <laughs> <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> Uh-oh. Maybe I should have helped Will and Holly after all. 
So is mine. Now we don't have any Wragglebots. Oh, no! They're the best Wragglebots I nearly had. Sorry, Raggles. Me too. We should have listened to each other and made a Wragglebot together. Sorry, Will. Sorry, Holly. Oh, it's okay, you two. Hey, remember my funny robot moves? Whoops. You've just given me an idea, Big Bear. I know a way to make a robot that will do what it's told and won't break. Hey, no peeking. This is a top secret operation. Operation Super Wragglebot. Okay, everyone. It's time to see the Super Wragglebot. Take it away, Rosie. Ta-da! Wow. <laughs> Go forwards. <laughs> Spin around. <laughs> On one leg. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> this is the best Wragglebot ever! <laughs> My name is Hollybot. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Left, right. Pick up the biscuit. Bring it to me, please. <laughs> oh, I love my Rosie Bot, but I'd much rather have my Rosie instead. <laughs> Even if she doesn't always do what I ask. Rosie Bot does not like cheeky rabbits. <laughs> hey, Rosie! Mmm, <laughs> that was a yummy breakfast. And now we have the whole day to play together. Let's start with dressing up. Come on. Um, I can't today. Why not? Uh, I've got to uh, borrow a book from Holly. Oh, okay. Well, I'll come with you then. I'm um, sorry, but I have to go on my own. Bye! On your own? But why? Oh, Raggles, did you get away without Rosie suspecting anything? Yes, everything's going according to plan. Oh, good. Friendship Day is here at last, and it's our chance to show Rosie how much she means to us all. I want to thank Rosie for helping me to dig the garden so I could plant my carrots. <laughs> and I want to thank her for helping me to paint my model airplane. Meow! And Rosie helped me to make this bracelet. Oh, and she gave me some shiny pebbles to decorate my nest. <laughs> I want to thank her for visiting me every day. And she's always around to play with me. So, we want to give Rosie a special surprise party. Right, everybody. Line up. This party's going to take a lot of organising. And I'm just the bird for the job. <coughs> Holly, it's your job to bake the cake and make the friendship badges. Yes, Bluebird. Well, it's your job to make the Friendship Day banner. Uh, yes, Bluebird. Raggles, it's your job to pick fruit. And Big Bear, it's your job to blow up balloons. Yes, yes Bluebird. Bluebird. And uh, I'm working on the friendship poem. All right, everybody, to work. Huh? Um, Bluebird, you don't seem to have a job. <laughs> I have the most important job of all. Keeping Rosie busy so she doesn't find out about the surprise. Oh. Of course. Now let's get to work, everybody. Right. How's everything going? Good. Good. Mm. Excellent. 
Diamond, I can report that I did a brilliant job at keeping Rosie busy. <sighs> I really am quite marvellous at this kind of thing. Oh, uh, Bluebird, if you're here now telling us what a good job you've done, then where's Rosie? Um... Hello? <gasps> Why is the door locked? It's Rosie. Oh, she can't see all this. It'll spoil the surprise. <laughs> Rosie, there you are. <laughs> What's going on in there? Oh, no time for that. Um, uh, there's something else very important I have to show you. Come on. Phew, that was close. Rosie, you look like you have something on your mind. Everyone's behaving oddly today, and I want to know why. That sounds like a mystery. But remember, some mysteries are best left unsolved. But I really want to know. Bluebird, over here. Oh, what is it? Have you found my pebble? No, but I found something else that's shiny and sparkly. <laughs> Where is it? It was round here somewhere. Keep looking. Oh, where are you, shiny, sparkly thing? <laughs> Come to Bluebird. Oh, it's no good. Rosie, I can't... Rosie? <gasps> Aha! Caught you all. <gasps> Rosie. What are you all doing? What's all this for? Oh. Are you having a party without me? No, we were organising a surprise party for you, for Friendship Day. Because you're such a special friend to us all. But now it's not a surprise oh, anymore. Uh, sorry, everyone. Rosie um, uh, said there was something... Oh, no. I've spoiled the surprise. Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. What do we do now? How can we throw a surprise party when it isn't a surprise anymore? A surprise is anything that someone isn't expecting. Hmm, anything. So we're not going to have the party. We're just packing it away now. I'm so sorry. Never mind, Rosie. There'll be other parties, I suppose. Rosie, I need your help. I've dropped another precious shiny pebble and I can't find it. <sighs> really? I think it was somewhere around here. Bluebird, look! I found it! Surprise! Happy Friendship Day, Rosie! Wow! <laughs> we didn't really call the party off. We just made you think we had. Oh, this is such a lovely surprise. <laughs> thank you, everyone. No, thank you, Rosie. <clears throat> and now, my Friendship Day poem. When I itch, you scratch my bark. You're thoughtful, kind and wise. When you're beneath my branches, Rosie, each day is a surprise. Hooray! <laughs> 